fifth generation of gaming is a very experimental era and an exciting time for gamers. To many consumers and video game journalists, 2D platformers seem like a dead relic of the past and 3D platformers for the future. But in a modern context, if you compare Rayman to other PlayStation launch titles, This game has aged considerably better, not just as a launch title for new hardware, but compared to a large chunk of games from the PS1 and 64 era. No badly aged pre-rendered graphics, no muddy textures, and no ugly looking polygons. This is a beautifully animated game with impressive use of parallax scrolling backgrounds and detailed sprites. The valley in the Glade of Dreams is a strange but wondrous place full of bright colors and creative environments. Few pixelate games compete with such a stellar art direction. With so much effort put into the fantastical setting, the writers realized the importance of how they portray Rayman's world in the story. So they had told through an impressive animation at the start of the game, narrated by a rather flamboyant sounding character known as a magician. He explains nearly everything you need to know about this story in a short but effective manner. In Rayman's world, nature and people live together in peace. The Great Protoon provides and maintains the harmony and balance in the world. Sorry, folks. This apparently can't last. One fateful day, the evil Mr. Dark steals the Great Protoon and defeats Batilla the Fairy as she tries to protect it. The Electoons used to gravitate around it, lose their natural stability and scatter all over the world! This leads to the Electoons being captured and many other horrible things. Now Rayman must free them by destroying six cages in 20 of the 21 levels and recover the Great Fortune for Mr. Dark. This platformer's plot is more complex than needing to rescue a princess from a castle or freeing your friends from robots, but it's kept relatively simple with solid production values 